Hey guys, it's me again. I am about to do a video open box review of the Mazu. Uh, it's a locking or a pick locking um, hobby kit that I picked up on Amazon. Uh, I received it. It's the 15 piece um, uh, lock set. Um, and I'm just gonna open it up and show everyone what's included in the set. So uh, it came through UPS for me. Um, it arrived on time as per Amazon. Um, and uh, basically when I open it up, it actually it came in a, a little bubble wrap container, uh, not container, bubble wrap uh, bag. And um, it was in good condition when I received it. Um, so first things first, you get three items in the package. You get a thank you for your purchase, um, and they appreciate your business, um, and they hope that th you will have a five-star experience with them. So uh, there it is, Mazu. Okay, um, I brought my laptop out because. Um, I wanted to download the ebook so that everyone has a quick glance of what is in the ebook. Um, I won't go through the entire ebook, but I'll kind of scroll through it from page to page. Um, maybe just the first part. Basically, um, it goes through uh, the how the lock itself works, the theory behind the lock, and then um, manipulating the lock. So, in the brown pouch which is uh, this one, is you'll see a transparent uh, uh, transparent lock itself and it comes with your keys. And uh, I just want to try the keys out because I'm curious. And when you stick the keys in, you'll see, hopefully my, my camera's good enough, you'll see that the pins will all kind of pop up and once they're all in line, you can turn it and it's a very smooth motion. This is pretty cool. I, I like the fact that you get a transparent um, lock and you can kind of see what you're doing. It's going to definitely help when I'm giving this a crack at it. Um, I'm, I'm not a expert lock picker. I'm actually, I've never done it before. Um, I got this because I was just curious about it and I wanted to try something new um, on my downtime. Um, I'm also doing a Rubik's Cube too right now, so I'm into the puzzles right now. So I decided to pick this up for Amazon. Um, okay, and in the leatherish pouch, pouch sorry, um, you can kind of see, I don't think it's real leather, I think um, but you know, it, it feels like the the vinyl, uh, the vinyl, fake leather appearance. Um, it isn't one piece; it is stitched. So there is a seam right here. So if the stitching does fail, um, your your picks will fall through. Uh, your picks come in a pouch. Looks like uh, a few little picks in there. Um, I don't know what every single pick is called and I'm not gonna fake it, but if you go through the ebook, I'm sure that they will go through each and every single pick and how they're used. Um, I'm assuming that they're at different lengths and different widths so that you can work at certain angles. So I'm, I'm just gonna show off some of these picks. Um, there is a nice, well, I wouldn't say nice. Depends on how you like to perceive um, uh, the actual touch of these picks. But uh, there is a coating on the picks, and I'm assuming that it's just an oil coating because they don't want the picks to rust. Um, if anyone's ever bought those feeler gauges um, for spark plugs, uh, the the mechanic ones. Usually when you open them up, they, there's a little oil film on it that catches a lot of like dust and residue. 
Well, that looks like the same stuff that's on here. So don't be alarmed if you get some greasy fingerprints afterwards. Um, quality, basically, it reminds me of those feeler gauges, which you can spin out different little thicknesses. Um, it is that type of uh, feel, that it is that type of texture. Um, and these picks are actually full tang. And being full tang, they, they don't move, so they don't pivot around the actual eyelets. Um, so just gonna kind of run through all these picks because I do want to go to the ebook before um, a lot uh, before the video gets too long. So I'm sure the the ebook will be very helpful for me to figure out how to use this pick set because it looks like there's a lot of different tools that could be quite beneficial and interesting to use, and um, I'm looking forward to it. All right. Okay, so let me grab a Kleenex because my hands are quite oily. Now, going on to the ebook, um, once you pay for your purchase, uh, I actually think it's actually in the in the what's it called the the description uh, when you buy the package or when you buy the picks. Uh, the set, um, I believe it's in there. So they'll actually give you this uh, PDF right away. So before you even receive your whole kit, you will have the ebook. So just going through it quickly, I, I don't. Um, part one, how the pin tumbler lock works. So it goes into the details of the mechanisms, um, basically the mechanics of the lock and uh, how to manipulate it. Um, there are some grammar mistakes, so just remember that, you know, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of like Chinglish sometimes. But nonetheless, uh, I'm sure that anyone that knows English will get through it, and the pictures are good. Um, and sometimes uh, the pictures actually speak more than what it's actually saying. So just moving along, it talks about tolerances and the binding defects. So it's exploiting challenges and the difficulties of making a lock secure and uh, exploiting that in order to pick locks. Um, so part two, picking techniques. So in here, they'll tell you the basics of how to hold the tools, um, it's got nice pictures of how you want to hold it. You don't want to grasp it with all your uh, all your fingers and thumb like that, like clenching down. That's not a good thing. There's the then it starts talking about methods. So there's the speed bump method, which is a single pin picking, and um, talks about oversetting. A lot of this stuff, I'm just reading off the headers because I have not gone through this ebook. So I do apologize if I'm boring about just telling everyone what is the uh, headlines for this ebook. But um, anyways, uh, all in all, this I, I got this kit originally because I'm interested in the hobby but also because um, I recently bought a place and my my house did not come with keys it's got one of those sledge um, uh, digital locks where you punch in your code and then uh, basically it runs on battery power like a 9 volt battery and uh, once you punch in your code uh, it will unlock the cylinder so that you can turn the actual cylinder and then you can open your deadbolt and get inside. Uh, however, um, I ended up buying a sledge or sledge uh, rekeying 
uh, kit and I bought that off of Amazon and I ended up rekeying the cylinder and that was a pain because um, I had to figure out exactly um, what the pins were and I couldn't so then I ended up dumping all the pins from the actual cylinder and the chambers and the springs came out and basically I had this this exact picture on my desk and it was a miserable pain to put everything back into the cylinder chamber um, and get the the cylinder back in there and make sure that the new rekeying uh, keys work but anyways the, after an hour and a half of doing that um, it ended up working fine and now I have an actual physical key to get back into the house if the 9 volt battery does die so anyways uh, I'm gonna end this video but uh, I did get this off of uh, a, um, one of the sellers wanted me to review it so that is one of the reasons why I'm making this presentation and video but all in all um, I can't comment on too much about the practical um, actuality of the tool set but I can tell you that for how much I paid for um, it was definitely worth um, you know giving this a try and it's more of a hobby for me all right anyways uh, leave a comment and uh, I'll respond back to you guys all right catch you later